Mom, Dad, I humbly suggest you save some money and shop Amazon for back to school. It's for my growth, meaning my body's growing at an alarming rate. And clothes you buy me this year will be very small very soon. Plus, the clothes I love today will be out of style tomorrow. But at least your wallet doesn't have to be my fashion victim if you shop low prices for school at Amazon. Hopefully this is helpful. Amazon. Spend less, smile more. Get the little ones, sit back, relax, and listen to the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. It's time once again for America's favorite show, The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Brought to you by DrFloyd.com. This week, starring Chuck McCann as the narrator. Every citizen in Saddle River liked Christmas a lot, but Dr. Steve was a different sort of sot. Dr. Steve loved Christmas, but not the whole season. He only liked one part. I'll tell you the reason. It wasn't the singing on cold winter nights, and it wasn't the wreaths, mistletoe, or the lights. It wasn't the bustle down at the mall. No, it was presents Dr. Steve loved most of all. Yes, presents were the reason he loved this holiday. He loved opening any presents that may come his way. But being as evil as was Dr. Steve, he rarely got presents come Christmas Eve. Now, pacing back and forth, Deep in his lair, he thought the whole deal was quite unfair. Everyone in Saddle River will get presents tomorrow, while I will have none. Oh, I'm filled with such sorrow. He turned and kicked a rusty old can. I guess I'll have to come up with a devious plan. For the next day he knew that all across Saddle River, gifts would be open from every gift giver. There'd be gifts, oh, the gifts, oh, the gifts, 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 gifts. There's one thing he wanted, gifts, 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 gifts. Then the citizens, one and all, would stand up and say thanks. They'd say thanks, they'd say thanks. They'd say thanks, 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 thanks. They'd say thanks for every toy and for every little scoff. And the sound of those thanks would make Dr. Steve want to barf. And then they'd do something he despised most of all, from the baby in the crib to the mayor at town hall. Every citizen would take pencils out of their coats, and they'd all sit down and they'd write thank you notes. They'd write and they'd write and they'd write, 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 and the more that Dr. Steve thought of this Saddle River writing, the more the synopsis in his brain started lighting. I simply can't take much more of this now. I've got to get some presents. Hmm, but how? Then he thought of a plan, a sinister plan. Dr. Steve thought of a deviously sinister plan. I have the perfect plan, said Dr. Steve with a chuckle. I'll use this old red suit and this belt with a buckle. On his face, he glued cotton from the bathroom drawer. I'll look just like Santa Claus, that's for sure. All I need is a reindeer to complete this little ruse. But there weren't any reindeer in Saddle River to use. Oh, I must find a deer. Dr. Steve said quite curt. I don't have a deer, but I do have Fidget. He called to his sock, who came with a run, and he glued antlers on Fidget with a hot glue gun. <coughs> Then he loaded some boxes into a rusty old sleigh. He was all set to go, with Fidget leading the way. Saddle River was quiet. 
there wasn't a sound. In bed, comfy, cozy, lie the citizens of the town. And after a minute, Dr. Steve started to pound on the floor of the sleigh with the heel of his boot. Here's our first stop, Fidget, Dr. Floyd's Institute. He slid down the chimney like an ill-fitting sleeve. But if Santa could do it, well, so could Dr. Steve. When he made it to the bottom, soot covered his face. Then he carefully peeked out of the old fireplace. And there was Dr. Floyd's stocking, and Dr. Grant's too. Dr. Steve smiled wickedly. Oh yes, these will do. And even though in the morning Dr. Floyd would be miffed, Dr. Steve started stealing each one of those gifts. Books and balls and new chemistry sets. Why a toaster, a TiVo. Oh, he had no regrets. He stole each present, I say, how uncouth. Then he pushed all those gifts upon to the roof. Then he crept to the kitchen. He thought he might as well steal flight attendant Christie's vegetarian Christmas meal. Oh, he took all the food. There could be no doubts. He took all the tofu. He took all the sprouts. He shoved all the food right up the chimney flue and said, Now I'll steal their tree and Chips' menorah too. The tree and the candles of the chimney did rise, when suddenly Dr. Steve was caught by surprise. Why, someone was tugging on the seat of his pants. When he turned, there in pajamas stood Dr. Grant. Dr. Steve had been caught by Dr. Floyd's protege, who'd been counting the minutes until Christmas Day. He looked up at Dr. Steve and started to say, Sandy Claus, what are you trying to do? Stealing our tree and Chips' menorah too? But Dr. Steve, that malcontent, was an evil sort of a guy. And the thing evil sort of guys do best is to lie. Why, the needles on this tree are far too old, and these candles are forbidden by the city's fire code. So I'm taking them to my place, you see, little chap, and I'll bring you back new ones, quick like a snap. This fib fool Dr. Grant and Dr. Steve turned him around and grinned as he went back upstairs with a bound. When the house was again all quiet as a little dove, he went back to the chimney to give the tree a shove. Then without one ounce of remorse on his face, Dr. Steve stole the remote for their gas fireplace. The once warm living room was now an empty space. He left nothing for them, not even some dust. Now Christmas morning would surely be a bust. Next, he did the same thing all over the city. He snuck into every house in town. What a pity. It was nearly dawn, and Saddle River was still asleep when he finished his evil plan. That mean, nasty creep. Why, he'd stolen all the gifts and all of the food, all of the trees, and all of the wreaths and garlands. Oh, I hope he gets the fleas. And then back to his hideaway, he made Fidget pull the sleigh, who was huffing and puffing all of the way. Now Saddle River's gifts are all mine. How fantastic, how merry, how utterly divine. All the people in town will wail and cry, and will I care? No way, I'm just that sort of guy. As they arrived at the door of his creepy old shack, he saw a sight that made his jaw slack. There on his porch, covered with snow, was a small little box wrapped up with a bow. He approached the gift carefully, his heart full of fear. Who would leave him presents? Who knew he lived here? Why, he gently reached out and then swallowed hard as carefully he removed the little to and from God. It read, Dr. Steve, most days we don't see eye to eye, and the whole town knows you're an evil sort of guy. 
And even though most times you make me annoyed, this gift is for you. Merry Christmas, Dr. Floyd. Dr. Steve stood dumbfounded. How could this be? Dr. Floyd, my arch nemesis, bought a gift just for me? Well, we argue and we fight and we hate each other. Why should this day be different than any other? Why would he do this? What could be the reason? Perhaps there is more to this Christmas season. Maybe instead of getting all the gifts just for you, maybe, just maybe, it's good to give a gift too. And what happened then? Fidget gave Dr. Steve a massive guilt trip and turned round the sleigh at quite a quick clip. They returned on the presents they had taken before her. They returned on the food and Chips's menorah. And even though it was a task he never enjoyed, Dr. Steve wrote a thank you note to good old Dr. Floyd. Happy holidays from everyone here at the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Episode number SE017 of The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd featured Chuck McCann as the narrator, www.chuckmccann.net. Music for this episode by Kevin McLeod, www.incompetech.com. That's www.incompetech.com. Our theme song was written and composed by Jody Whitesides, www.jodywhitesides.com. This episode was written by Grant Pachoco with a special thanks to Dr. Seuss. Episode number SE017 of The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd is copyright 2007 Dr. Floyd Industries. All rights reserved. Clear the airwaves! It's now time for Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation Rangers secret message for you members of the Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation. Remember, kids, only official radio adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Rangers can decode Dr. Floyd's secret message with the secret decoder ring available only from www.imaginationranger.com. All right, grab your secret decoder rings and a pencil and paper and prepare to set your imagination to fun. Remember, Dr. Floyd is counting on on you. And here is the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Ranger's secret message for episode number SE017 How Dr. Steve Stole Christmas. 3 23 2 3 25 15 2 1 18 14 8 14 5 3 17, 6, 25, 7, 11, 17, 7, 14, 8, 15. And that was a message from Dr. Floyd himself to all his Imagination Nation Rangers. You can join Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation and become an Imagination Nation Ranger only at www.imaginationranger.com. And until next time, set your imagination to fun! Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Bat Free. It's a comedy podcast. Fridays and every other Sunday... Well, anyway, back in episode five of Bells in the Bad Free, we introduced the cowlets, tiny little cows. Where did all these cats come from? They're not cats, they're cows, and they're heading toward the water cooler. Stop it before...
Now you can display your love of these tiny cows with genuine Cowlet t-shirts. You know what's really fun to do with these shirts? Get a whole bunch of people to buy them. Then you all gather together and run down the street. People will see these Cowlets coming toward them and think it's a stampede. You think that would really work, Brad? Shh, I'm pushing for bulk sales here. You can also get Cowlet mugs, clocks, and other items. Just go to thebatfree.com and click on shop. This is a limited time offer. No, it's not. You just do not understand advertising, do you? Get your merchandise today with the official Cowlet design created by Jeff Music. Buying lots of them would bring music to my ears. Oh, stop.